Hello everybody and welcome to another guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and this is going to be a good one so if you are low on berserkers or just uh, looking to increase the stock that you do have at the moment then this is a perfect chance for you to get some more of those obviously the chests here has the possibility to give you some good club cards as well and this is comparing to the last week's kind of like meh golden shot Again, this is a really good one. Before we take a close look at all the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that are looking to improve your game even more, we do offer tour play guides for tour 7 up to tour 13, perfect now with the new rotation. Also, when it comes to checkpoint challenge, we offer guides for that, uh, and for the 9 hole cups and 18, 18 hole tournaments as per usual as well. So make sure to subscribe to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. You do have the link in the description down below, and you can start as low as $1.50 per month. All right. Golden Short Iron is what we are going to play with every single time here, max plus 20. And we are playing the Nami Cliffs hole number 2. And from Fronty, that's going to always be a Short Iron. One of the few par 3s in the game that is being played by a Short Iron from any T. And we have the Obsidian Chest for the hole in 1. Amber Chest for the Light Ring. Uh, like yellow ring, crimson chest for the red ring, aqua chest for the light blue ring, and cobalt chest for the dark blue ring. You can press the question mark on the top right to get to the frequently asked questions. And if you do have more questions or you experience some sort of an error, then you do go and send in a ticket to the Golf Clash support. All right. We do have the landing position that we are going to use. The landing position is a little bit finicky, but that is because we don't really have any clear reference when it comes to the ball guideline because it's not a fully developed ball guideline. So what we're using is the direction of the ball guideline combined with the blue rings. Top of the blue ring by the rough, and then the ball guideline falling just right of the pin. And here we are looking to take into uh, take advantage of a sticky spot that is on the right side of the pin and in that sense is uh, the way to kind of move forward if you're missing left you're most likely aiming too far left and that's something you can compensate for when you're taking your next shot if that's what you are doing let's take a look at the videos here now and we're starting off with video number one and that is a win coming left to right i have four videos videos for you but it all has four different win directions you can see here how i'm aiming with this type of view uh, blue ring by the rough line ball guideline falling right of pin setting the spins according to uh, the chart we do have here i'm setting 0.3 backspin maybe should have gone with a little bit of right spin as it's not really a true northeast wind 5.9 miles per hour is 4.6 rings and as always we're pulling over the bullseye center the ball and now you can see when we're playing with a short iron the needle is going even slower than normal so pay so please have um please pay attention to that so you're not timing out all right perfect ball it is we are missing just left of the hole here and we needed that little right spin you can see that we stay up top there which means that we do have a good um good speed second shot we do have a left to right um crosswind and headwind blue ring by the rough line ball guy line pointing just right of the hole Half a top, no side spin whatsoever. 5.9 rings is 4.6. Um, 5.9 miles per hour is 4.6 rings, obviously. And as always, we're pulling over the bullseye. It's hard to zoom in a lot here. So obviously, it combined with the landing position not being super easy, but also the fact that we do have to um, adjust from a pretty zoomed out view makes it a little difficult and it's very easy to do what i'm doing here just missing left once again getting into the red ring i think it's very difficult to stop in the yellow ring uh, because the speed here is definitely uh, a top one to get correct especially when we do have that little downhill slope just by the pin now wind coming right to left crosswind and headwind blue ring by the rough line adding one right half a top spin 6.7 miles per hour is going to be 5.3 range. So 
So we are making the adjustment. And we're going to center the ball and hit perfect. And to see if we do that before we are timing out. It takes forever for the needle to go back and forth. So it bounces on the fairway. Up, up, and it rolls. Takes that little groovy spot there. Right that pin for a beautiful hole in one. Let's see what we do get in the chest. Always exciting. Even though I have max clubs on many of them. It's always exact, uh, exciting to see what type of epics we are getting. And here it is Amazon, which is not really a superb one. Now, right to left, direct crosswind, blue ring by drop line, ball guy line just right of the hole. Setting the spins, which should be 0.1 top spin and 1.2 right spin. Here, I do feel that I do have a little bit of a tailwind component. You can see that here as well, pretty clear that I do have that. So I'm removing the 0.1 top spin and just going with the... the a right spin here uh, by itself 6.1 miles per hour is 4.8 range center the ball hit perfect and this will be another great chance i do feel that any wind direction here and a perfect ball will have a very good chance to drop into the hole and you can see here we come in and we're dropping once again dead center so there we do have it ladies and gentlemen let's have a look at the chest before we move over to take a look at the text guide here we do have 16 Falcon cards, which is a good drop in the golden shot. Let's take a look at the text guide. All right, let's have a look at the text guide made by Tony Richardson. As always here, based on uh, my shots and my shots alone, you can find the text guide on golfclashtommycom slash golden shots. You can always find there. You don't have to go around and ask in a bunch of different chats. You just move on, grab it there, and all going to be good. You have the, a link in the description as well down below short structure before a spin top of blue by rough line bullseye just where it meets the shadow ball guy to point just right of the pin a little bit finicky to find out but it's definitely something that i do feel you have a little bit of leeway when it comes to being a little bit more left or right there is a sticky spot that we're trying to play into scan the qr code for access to the best guys on the market included in the metropolitan nine hole cup this week we have the spins direct tailwind half a backspin half a right spin wind coming right to left with tailwind 0.3 backspin one right spin wind coming left to right with tailwind 0.3 backspin no side spin direct crosswind left to right 0.1 top spin 0.2 left spin wind coming right to left with direct crosswind 0.1 top spin 1.2 right spin Wind coming left to right with headwind and crosswind, half a top spin. And then we have wind coming right to left with headwind, half a top spin, one right spin. And wind coming direct headwind, 0 0.8 top spin, half a bar of a right spin. There with you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit thumbs up before you go. And I wish you the best of luck in the golden shot.